In this video, we're going to be showing you the software that comes with the Cubicon Style and the Cubicon Single. Um, it's called Cubic Creator, and we're going to take you through and show you how to use it. So here we are inside of Cubic Creator. There's a few ways we can load up files. We can either export through My Mini Factory, um, and we've got some categories here we can go through to select some cool prints, or we can just load up our own files, which we'll do here. So we'll just load up something we downloaded earlier. And as you can see, this model's a little bit too big. And what the software is going to do is just scale it down for us so we can print it um, within the boundaries of the build volume. So to move around the actual screen, we've got uh, three different camera um, angles we can use. We can use the zoom tool, the rotate tool, and also the pan tool. And we also have uh, some preset camera angles. So we could skip right to the top and look down on the uh, model itself, or we can just skip back to home, which is a really nice feature. So if we select the file, uh, we can save it as an STL from this option here. We can also copy and duplicate the file multiple times. So if we want to replicate it and print it four times, we drop in the number three, and the printer will allocate the best spacing for the parts. So we can move around there, take a look at everything's okay. And we can select them individually and just delete them out with the option at the top. So if we just keep want to go back to three, down to one, then we can just undo that if we want to go back to four. So it's nice and quick. And we've got a redo button as well. So if you just want to stick with the one print and we want to reset to that, we can select the auto position tool and it pops it right into the middle for us. Okay, so with the print selected, we have the manipulator tool highlighted now. Uh, and with this tool, we can go in and transform the model so we can stretch it um, in either direction. And we can undo that. And we can also rotate the model as well. And when you rotate it to a certain position and let go, it will lock it in place. Do it the other way there as well. One thing that's really cool is if you do have a, a file that's come in and it's at a weird angle like this, uh, you can use the orientate tool um, and basically it, you'll select the face that's flat and then also select the base of the print volume and it will align it correctly, uh, which is a really nice feature and will save you a lot of time trying to fiddle around and rotate things to fit. The next thing we'll do is we'll go up to this uh, tab here which says layer control um, and what this will do is we can select a certain point in the print um, to set a pause and uh, this is a really nice feature which means you can switch out the colour of your filament um, and effectively have a two-tone print so that little hand mark there is where the print's gonna it's gonna pause and allow us to change the filament out um, and we'll come back to this later when we see the, uh, the layers um, in the print render this particular model doesn't need any support, but I'll just show you the uh, manual support settings as well. So in the support editor, you have three options. Um, we have the insert directly, semi-auto and link support. Um, we'll just show you those now. So insert directly means basically you can put the support wherever you want it to go, and there's nothing dictating it other than yourself. Um, this is a really handy feature, and uh, a lot of softwares don't provide this, so this is really good. We can just undo those. Uh, in semi-automatic, you can change the radius, um, which basically means that if you're placing uh, a support somewhere and the software thinks it would be better located somewhere else, it will put it where it's better located. So it's sort of you're you're sort of doing it, but at the same time the computer's covering your back and making sure it's in the right location. And you can change the radius of that as well, so it becomes more. Um, more affected by the computer and the software rather than, than yourself. So we'll just put a couple of those in to see the difference and just undo them. And then the link support is basically you can draw on wherever you want the support to go um, and you can also connect them as well. So if you just draw some some strange positions and then you can see 
can just link them together. This is obviously a very specific method of uh, support. Now we'll take a look at some of the views that are available in the software. Um, so we can see here this is just set to solid. Uh, if we go on this one, um, it's just going to show us the existing geometry uh, which the, um, the file is comprised of. And we can also see the separate vertices as well. Uh, these little tiny yellow marks. And then also we can, we can do the layers as well. We can see the layers before we actually um, save the print, which is really handy. Um, it's just loading up the top there, so it's slicing through the data at the moment. It's a fairly quick software, this, and it does it quite rapidly. And as you can see, that's, that's all done. Um, if we zoom in a little closer, you notice that if we scroll down the layers, that, that hand that we placed in earlier for the pause is there. If we flick down, you'll see that it flashes and shows you um, where the pause will take place. Um, and you can also see through the different colours that are shown on the on the screen um, what's being printed. So the infill structure is yellow, the very outer surface is blue, and then the inner wall is red. Uh, it's just really handy, it's just really easy to see everything. Um, it's just a really nice little feature. So lastly, we'll take a look at the print settings. If we open the Start Print tab, you'll see there's a few tabs at the top. Uh, let's just go on to Basic Settings. Um, on the left-hand side, we've got some preset profiles and you can also make your own and save them here as well. Um, in the basic settings, it's basically just choosing your material, your uh, structure, um, infill, temperature, quality, things like that. Um, but if we head into the expert settings tab, you'll notice that we have a lot more control over a lot more numbers, um, so you can be very specific. Also, if you choose to change the profiles on the left-hand side, you will notice that the highlighted boxes in yellow will change. So there, for example, the times um, sped up dramatically by the time times two actually, um, and then we can change that down to slow, and it will drop down dramatically as well. Um, so depending on what sort of print you're after, you can change all the settings to your heart's content uh, and try to get the best best out of your print. Um, so if we just save this now, and we'll get the print going in just a sec. But uh, it's quite nice at the end of this; it will give you a readout of the time print will take and also the material uses that you use uh, when printing this particular part. So that's now exported and we've got a readout of about seven hours and also gives us the material weight as well which is really nice. Okay, so I hope that video was nice and informative for you. Um, I hope it demonstrates all the things you can do in Cubic Creator. Um, it's worth noting, actually, that you can use Simplify 3D with both of these machines, which will enable you to have more control over what you do in the software. Um, but from the results you can see here, we've got some really fantastic prints, and we're astounded by the quality that these two machines can provide us. If you have any questions um, about the machines themselves or the Cubic Creator software, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.